<laughs> Heck yeah. All right, this is what we got going on here. The Traxxas Rustler, bone stock as you can see. Just running simple AA batteries in the back, stock tire, stock everything. I did break it in with 20% fuel, and right now we are using 33% Traxxas top fuel. Um, I've heard great things about it. I heard, ah, eh, you can blow it. Eh, well, we're going to find out. How about that? So, um, I know it burns cleaner. Uh, you just got to watch your tune, your temps, and all that stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and fire it up, get this baby uh, broken some more before we do some speed runs and play around with some gearing. And this is the first start in, wow, I want to say three months. some nice blue smoke coming out of it and I know I shouldn't be on uh, concrete or asphalt with these tires but I don't really use these tires for anything I just want to get her out there and stretch its legs and see what she does I need to get a wheelie bar for this baby. Gotta love the nitros. Nice. Nice. You can tell she's warming up, guys. You can tell she is warming up. Boy, this thing sure can use a two-speed transmission, couldn't it? Hold on, I just heard a little bit of bubbling there. No, we ain't out of fuel yet. Let me check the heat on that. This one I did bring the temp gun out. Oh, you know what? It could be the glow plug, guys. Could be the glow plug falling out because I didn't change the glow plug out. Try to rich her up about an eighth and see what she does. All right. There we go. Get her back over here. Try to up a little bit more. Not bad. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that glow plug is spent, guys. I'm pretty sure. After four tanks of idling and all that, but hey, I'm going to burn this thing up. Oof, almost older. And keep in mind, guys, she's still breaking in, too. I'm trying to get her up the temp is basically really what I'm trying to do. Brakes works good. Brakes are working really good. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. Just like the other one, always landing on its, well, not always landing on its wheels. Oh, wait, that was that Holston uh, X07 that always landed on its wheels when it flipped. All right, let's get a little tense here. Okay, she is now refueled. I believe what was going on is the fuel was so low, it was just sucking in. It wasn't sucking any fuel in, so it would die down when it was getting up to full speed. You know, it just wasn't picking up on the pickup. So let's go ahead and get this baby going again. All right, let's see what she does. Oh, looks like our semi dude took off. Okay, I'm like I'm liking the uh Yeah, see how now she was oh no she did still come on down there. Come over here. Now let's see what happened here guys. Touch the motor. Oh motor's okay, seems like. Let's try that again. Like I said, I should swap the glow plug out. As a matter of fact, I might go ahead and do that now. You know what? Let's do that right now. Let's see if that's the actual issue. Because like I said, I haven't changed that glow plug out since uh, I did the break-in. Okay, we are back. I got the brand new glow plug in there. Let's see if that was the issue. Seems to be only doing it on top speed. <laughs> See, now she's ripping it. See, now she's ripping it, guys. It was that glow plug the whole time. Man, she such could use a, a second gear. What do you guys think? So that's what it was the whole time. We got FedEx coming in. Let me get out of his way for he runs my shit over. Nice, get on your feet, there you go. I'm gonna run her a little bit richer, guys. I'm gonna take her a little bit more rich. Love it when she raises them wheels. Now we got a lot more smoke coming out. And she's still running good. Nice, nice, nice. Now she's getting there, guys. Imagine how much more you got to lean her out or uh, richen her up when you're running that. Uh, High quality fuel and see, or I should say, a higher percentage of nitro. Kind of love these nitros. I'm gonna go ahead and, of course, we're turning up another eighth. So we're about, about a whole turn and an eighth out from going from 20%. There we go, barely hitting the throttle, and she's raising them wheels right up. Man, she's a screamer. I can't see her doing much more than probably 35 mile an hour, but. <laughs> Heck yeah. Gonna have to richen it up a little bit more, guys. Just a little bit more. I'm not happy with the smoke trail.
about the tuna and once you get her set fill it up and just run her so what do you think guys should i take this one and use it as a a speed runner or should i run this one as uh an off-road set it up for off-road so i got a electric nitro for on-road and a nitro for um off-road let's check some temps here it is about 50 degrees outside today the fuel oh she definitely i might have to take that idle up a hair yep i might have to take that idle up just a hair um yeah i don't have my fancy remote that idle screw is pretty kind of hard to get to hold on one second all right i went ahead and adjusted it probably went up about another um oh i don't know maybe a quarter turn up on the idle screw to get her to idle better man is she ripping it up We'll get her on the dirt or something. I do got some paddle tires for it. Maybe we should test it out in some sand. So now that we got her run out there, we'll check some temps real quick. If you guys can see the smoke trail, it ain't when I'm wide open, it's when uh, I'm gassing out her like that. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. Look how well she's idling because she could be running a little too much. Yeah, she might be running a little too rich. So we'll go ahead and back that down just a hair. And I don't think I'm getting any more smoke out of what because it's probably not uh, the castor oil that's inside. <laughs> I think we're a little dry on fuel guys and we are out of fuel okay okay got to refuel gonna go ahead and start her back up oops get her in here She got a good trail on her now. I think I'm gonna leave this setting and run a couple more tanks out of it. <clears throat> Keep checking the temperatures. Yeah, solid stream. I don't know if you guys can see that on the video, but there is a solid stream of blue smoke. Just lightens up as you give it throttle. I just figured because there's not enough of the oils inside the nitro when you go to a higher percentage. But I am no nitro scientist. I don't know, it's just kind of common sense. If you got 20%, sounds like you're gonna have more oil in it. Get more of that smoke trail. But hey, as long as she's not heating up. Man, this thing's like a, a cat, man. Always lands up back on his paws. Nice. Doesn't sound like she's running lean at all. We'll get another temp on here real quick. If I had the temp gun, that would help. We are running about, oops. All right, we're at 189, 192. Okay, we're getting closer to temp. That is awesome. A slight adjustment on that idle but probably could use a little bit more well you guys are checking out for yourself as i mentioned earlier in the video i only idled about four tanks out of it but 20 percent nitro fuel whoa man 
Sounds like she's going a lot faster. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, now you see that I'm at 33%. So there's going to be some, uh, tuning you're going to have to do, of course. Nice smoke and acceleration. Uh, the low end is doing really good, really snappy. So I'm kind of liking this tune so far. I have to work with that idle a little bit. So the low end is real punchy. So I, I'm pretty sure that's set pretty good. I didn't even touch that. But again, this motor is not 100% broke through. Want to get at least four tanks ran. I guess I could let it cool down, you know, completely, then fire up another tank and do what I'm doing, but this is how I've been running my nitros and I haven't had any problems with them. Been running nitros since the first, oh God, the Savage Point 21. If you want to go back even farther or later than that, uh, I had the, uh, the uh, Duramax uh, Invader. <laughs> Oh God, that thing's a trip. And I have one, right? I also have one. A neighbor of mine gave it to me. Uh, I guess he wasn't using it no more. He gave it to me. He said, hey, fix it up. And uh, there you go. That thing's in mint condition. Now, if you want to go back even farther with Nitro, I even have, I had a um, Kyosho Vanny. The, uh, the Land Jump. Or the Integra one. Yeah, it's, uh, the guy ended up getting stolen and then I ended up buying another one. Uh, I can explain that story then later on, but as of right now, I, I love my nitros. I had all the savages, uh, I believe from the point .21 all the way up to the uh, 25, and then they kept going up. Even had the 5.9, I believe, and then the, um, not, that, not the brand new one. I haven't had the XL or the GTL X or whatever they call it. I uh, haven't had nothing like that, but I... Um, had my fair share. I even built a twin motor savage. Wow, look at this thing just ripping it. You guys see this thing? Just instant, instant. Now I'm really starting to get on it. So I think this motor's starting to break in, guys. Gotta watch out for this truck. I think I want to richen her up just a hair more. But I'd like to see a solid stream. <clears throat> a smoke. Because remember, I did tune this thing on 20%. That's why I'm riching it, guys. Because I got a stronger uh, aura. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This thing is definitely set up for the dirt, guys, not for the street. Let's try that again. Good simple tuning, guys. Very simple. Very short turns at a time. Now she'll be dialed in in no time, but like I said, we're just breaking the rest of it in on this video. If you guys stuck around this long, appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, share to your friends. Um, like to know if you own a Traxxas uh, Nitro Rustler as well. Rich her up just a hair more. We'll check some temps real quick. She's probably getting ready to run low on fuel here. or this thing might turn into a pancake oh, oh no come on on your look at that again again just like a cat I might have to uh, 
haven't had to retrieve it once in what three or four uh wipeouts there okay i'm gonna call this one i think this one's doing good let's bring it back and let's see how she's gonna idle for us that's my only concern that, that's nothing either i could get it to idle yeah, you can tell she's idling a little low yeah see it shouldn't be dying that soon so uh yeah i, I could fix the idle that's not a big deal so hey guys check it out man gonna let this thing cool down completely later on I might take it back out put it in some dirt or something and uh rip it up but you guys uh let me know in the comments uh what you think about the uh nitro wrestler and what i should do to it or what have you done to yours i meant i'm curious all right guys like comment subscribe share your friends and have a great day